Live at five, it looks like we're live. We need to be able to see what we're doing here. Looking good. Okay guys, welcome back to Robertson Co. Welcome back to London, another live jewelry making session. Tonight we're continuing the stream of the last few days, which has been making nine carat yellow gold one millimeter wire. A couple of days ago, a couple of live streams ago, we melted some gold in a crucible, poured it into the graphite ingot mould. Then it was peened five or six times, a series of lots of small hammer blows um, on a steel block. And now we've started, today was the second day, putting it through the rolling mills. Obviously it's not the only project I've got on the go. I'll give you a close up of this. It's starting to take shape now. So there you go, you can see it's taking on a sort of square with octagonal edges that the roller mill sort of creates, but it's actually started to uh, probably not just, the first one or two, really just reshaping the metal to that octagonal shape. Not a great deal of serious reduction goes on, more reshaping than reduction. Now it's gonna to transition to being reshaped to actually reducing. So it should start to make some uh, noticeable progress over the next few live streams, next few passes through the rolling mill. So we need to anneal this, get out to a dull red, let the temperature drop back a little bit. It'll still be very hot, just not red hot, and then quench it in the water. The longer these get, the ingots, the more energy this takes getting up to temperature. You would think being the same sort of weight of metal, it would be a similar sort of time and uh, energy and effort, but it's not. There comes a point where I end up with two, I could just use the one large Smith's little torch one. There does come a point where I'll probably have the micro welder and this handheld torch, but when they're short and stubby, short and fat like this one, this is uh, this has got enough power. As long as it's fully gassed. See it's starting to glow red now. We'll get it up to a good temperature, hold it there, sort of heat soak for a bit. Before letting it cool and ultimately quenching it. So that's the kind of colour and therefore temperature we want. Right, that should do it. Should be nice and soft. Just put 
push that to one side so uh, pull it a little quicker. I want the colour, that redness to uh, subside a bit before we quench it and rapidly coil it in the water. I think cooling it too quickly can, um, when it's red hot, can actually make the surface a little bit brittle, prone to cracking. And with silver, it can take on board the water. No, it does take on board the water. And then when you roll it, it's like wringing out a sponge. So yeah, the amount of work that's gone into this at this stage is uh, it's better to be safe than sorry, you know? I'm trying to rush it and then having to go all the way back to square one, melting it, pouring it, peening it, and then starting this process all over again. Although, if they develop problems at this stage, you are better off going back now to stage one rather than trying to persevere. You're just wasting time. Even more time. Boom. All right, that's it. Now in the pickle, and that I'll need to clean to remove the fire scale, probably half an hour actually. Right, that's it, short and sweet. See you next one. Toodles.